Today we're going to be talking about how to uh, help your water heater from causing an explosion and flooding out your house. Um, so right here we had a client, she had a water heater and what ended up happening is the bottom part down here where the tanks actually assembled, it actually blew out the bottom and water just started gushing out of the bottom. So our first original phone call was, oh my gosh, what do we do? Um, luckily this was a good friend of ours, very savvy in the construction industry. Went outside, turned off the valve, so as soon as we got here, we uh, made sure, cut all the lines off, made sure to disconnect, turn off your gas line, then you got your water valve right here. I'm not gonna turn it off because it's a new water heater and operational. Turn this off to kill your hot water. Double, triple check your gas valve is off. Now if you have some kind of cap, that would be ideal, but it, then you will disconnect your gas line. This one here, since it failed at the bottom, we needed to get this water heater out of here as soon as possible because it just kept dumping water. We tried to actually drain it off with the hose, but it was not substantial um, water flow, and so it was not adequate enough to get enough water out. So what we ended up doing is disconnecting this whole thing, pulled off the door jam because the old water heater would not fit out of here, and pretty much just bear hugged this thing, drug it out the front door, and dumped it out in the front yard, ran back inside, and started extracting all the water. So I mean, this entire house, we had it up and down this hallway. She had old carpet in here, pushed into the bathroom, pushed into the bedrooms, and it actually pushed into the den or the living room right here. Um, so then the water moisture carried all the way through there, pushed back through the rest of the house. But luckily we stopped the water heater from causing any more damages. So the biggest thing is on these water heaters is making sure that you are doing maintenance on these. Just like your air conditioner, anything that's in your house, your appliances, it's not just a one-time install on one and done and never worry about it again. You always want to make sure you're checking everything, making sure none of your valves are leaking. You'll see some corrosion or some uh, buildup on there on all the copper. Just make sure you don't see any of that. It looks kind of like a penny once it oxidizes and you see the green and all the kind of different chemicals on it. You want to make sure that all that kind of stuff is good. Same with your gas valve, making sure this gas valve is replaced. Um, so she has an older one, so we're actually coming back out here to fix the pan and finish the inside of the sheetrock. So we're actually going to have our plumber come out here and kind of, uh, he's going to put a brand new gas valve on this water heater. The main reason is just in case we do have to kill um, gas or water to this unit, we want to make sure it's 100% dead. Um, so at that point in time, we also put a flood stop on here. So it's not finally installed since we're not 100% done. So what this does is as soon as water or moisture gets into this pan on this sensor right here, what will happen is it now will trigger the water valve up top and it will stop water immediately. So we also like to um, let customers know on your air handler up in your attic, on your AC system, we also like to do a flood sensor up there. So as soon as water hits the pan because your drain is filled up and it's no longer draining out, it will actually kill the system before starting a flood in your house. Because when this happens, it's very sudden and abrupt and then everything hits the fan as soon as all that water hits the pan. And so all this stuff happens, starts to flood out your house, and then of course we're coming in to rip it apart and put it back together. So if y'all have questions, feel free to reach out to us. We got our plumbers, we got our electricians, everybody that works with us every single day, all day. We can make a quick phone call, you can send us photos, things like that, and we can help assist you guys so we don't have to come out here at a loss if we could have prevented it. Because these water heaters, some are a five year, 10 year, 15 year warranty, some of them are just labor, some are just materials. So just make sure you talk to your plumbing company or air conditioning company whenever they're talking about these with you and make sure you look at the maintenance plans. Don't just Google it real quick, but actually do your research to make sure you're doing proper maintenance on that. Just like your AC, changing your air, air filter once a month or every other month. Um, with the water heater, making sure everything's good, make sure nothing's clogged up. And then of course draining it once a year to make sure all that sediment and stuff like that kind of gets flushed out of the system to prolong it so it doesn't sit down there and start to rust out the bottom like we had here. So anyways, if you all have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. This is Gareth Warrior Wolf.